Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here, and things are heating up in Washington. They're getting red hot like a stove, just but don't put your finger on it. And I hope you're having a terrific Tuesday, Motivational Monday, terrific Tuesday. Maybe we'll end the whole week with some good, good messages for the week. So have a terrific Tuesday. Here's your daily stimulus check, your second stimulus check, your executive action, executive order, memorandum, moratorium, and stimulus package update for Tuesday, December 15, 2020. Find out why both Democrats and Republicans are still fighting for new stimulus package to be approved this week. Yeah, with days left. What Bernie Sanders thinks about the new stimulus proposals, and you gotta hear this, man, you definitely wanna listen to this, and all of the details on the recent unveiled two-part stimulus package. Two, I'm not kidding. There's a part one and a part two, like a sequel? After this. Sequel, like, uh, I don't know, Mission Impossible or Mission Probable, <laughs> I hope. For the best news and information to master your money, business, and life, stay tuned to the channel where we give away money here too, just because we want to give the love back. When we hit 150,000 subscribers, we're giving away $1,500. All you got to do is subscribe, like, and comment. It's free, and you could win 1500 bucks. Like, subscribe, and comment. Just put any comment in. It could be just the letter A if you're tired and you just go, oh, this is a, a, just press the button A, whatever is there. Also, grab your Weeble stock. You can get four free stocks. It's a limited time offer. It could be over $3,000 worth of stocks you get. Don't miss out. At least check it out. And thanks, all the Patreons, again, for all your support. We send out articles to you every day to keep you abreast of what's going on. But first, with just days remaining until December 18th deadline, which is how they, long they extended their working in the government, Congress to pass a funding bill, their own personal money, both Democrats and Republicans are optimistic about passing their CR. That's their continuing resolution bill. That's their bill. So don't be confused when they come out and go, oh yeah, we're passing a stimulus bill. That's to, st to stimulate the government, their wallet, as well as more stimulus for millions of Americans. And to be fair, Fair, the people that work for the government are getting a paycheck from the government, so it is helping. So, uh, all you know, the money does go somewhere, so it does help. Senator Majority Leader Mitch McConnell explained yesterday on the Senate floor, quote, it's time for the body to collectively recognize that the finger pointing, don't put food on the table for struggling Americans. It's about time to get this done. Wow. He also said that Joe Biden is now the president. First time. A first time today, like hour ago or so. He continued, quote, the next several days are going to bring about two outcomes. Either 100 senators will be there shaking their heads, shaking their fists probably, and slinging blame and offering excuses about why we still have not been able to make law, or we will break for the holidays and have to send another huge dose of relief out the door for people who need it. I like the second. The latter, I'll go with that. Senator uh, Minority Leader Chuck Schumer stated, quote, this week, the Senate returns with precious little time left to finish an important matter of business. Yeah, a couple of days and they're leaving, right? Nancy Pelosi, Pelosi spokesman Drew Hamill said, quote, healthcare workers and first responders are risking their lives to save lives and at the same time are at risk of losing their jobs without state and local support. Yeah, states are running out of money, so are local municipalities. I'm glad to hear that both Democrats and Republicans are finally on the same page, even if they are yelling at each other about making sure this gets done, especially when we're getting so close to December 18th. I'm glad they're fighting about getting it done. It's better than fighting the other way, right? Meanwhile, Senator Bernie Sanders had some harsh criticism for the recent announcement of the phase four relief bill. I'm surprised he didn't have a heart attack. I love Bernie. Bernie's so cool. He's like, oh, he's always been Bernie. Bernie's Bernie. Speaking to politics, even though I don't really like any of them, Bernie's, he's fine. Bernie explains, quote, what kind of negotiation is it when you go from 3.4 trillion to 188 billion in new money? That is not a negotiation, that is a collapse. And if you put it in Bernie's words, it's so funny to watch. He's just so fired up. Just, ah! 
you know, he continued, we cannot go home until there are strong enough unemployment benefits, $1,200 per adult, $500 per kid for every working person and family in the country. This is Bernie's words. And this guy he ran for president and got a lot of votes, right? Sanders continued, quote, Democrats passed a $3.4 trillion bill. I love that bill. The HEROES Act bill. I love it. You have the Republicans in the administration talking about a $1.8 trillion bill. I still like that one. And now we've gone down to about $188 billion. I don't know what they're smoking there. I know the feds are talking about making that thing legal, right? Uh, maybe they started already. I don't know. $188 billion in new money? That's the bipartisan bill, which does not include one nickel in direct payments for working families in this country. Totally unacceptable. And this has got to be rejected. Now, Bernie said everything except for the, uh, the federal smoking thing. He didn't say that. While I'd love to see the $3.4 trillion stimulus package that Bernie is in favor of, at this point, we need any kind of disaster relief package to help us weather the rest of the extremely stormy 2020. And we can't cut people. Are we serious? You cannot cut people off the day after Christmas. Seriously? And finally, the Bipartisan Problem Solvers Caucus unveiled their $908 billion stimulus package, which is actually two bills. One is $748 billion and the other $160 billion. It's a nice number. The $160 billion contains funding for state and local governments, while the $748 billion stimulus package contains everything else. And I mean everything else. For you, for us, for just everybody. It's a nice Christmas gift. Here's what it includes. The $748 billion stimulus bill is $300 billion for small business loans who need it desperately. $35 billion for health care providers. Yeah, take care of them like they take care of us. Three point, I mean, $2.6 billion for the Center of Disease Control and Prevention and Vaccine Distribution and Infrastructure. Duh. $3.4 billion for grants to states and cities to help with the vaccine efforts. Yes, so we can get it out there and we can crush this virus. $7 billion for grants to states and testing and contact tracing. No, it's not spying. It's to slow, the, slow it down. Come on. $82 billion for schools and other educational providers. $25 billion for rental assistance and an increase of food stamps. Yeah, I know people are against that. I'm like, hey, if a guy can't buy food or a gal can't buy food, uh, really? I mean, it's not like they're giving them like, they're not getting uh, filet mignon and lobster, especially when like 50% of all the wealth in the United States is like three people. Seriously? Extend the extension of the moratorium until January 2021. <gasps> wow, that's going to scare some. They're like, whoa, really? And the extend student loan forbearance until April 2021. Some more relief for people. Providing jobless benefits of 300 per week for 16 weeks. Not the number you wanted, but it's not 200, right? Remember the 200 before? That was just horrible. These all sound like great stimulus programs that will help millions of Americans get through these rough times. I'm hopeful. It just is the beginning of the disaster relief efforts that we need because the number is getting to almost four or five trillion in the deficit, the hole we dug. We need another one first quarter. Hopefully Joe Biden had done the math and listens to the economist because if we can't get this economy flowing, we're going to have bigger problems because it's much harder to rebuild than it is to just fill the hole that we created. That was your stimulus check and second stimulus check and your executive action, executive package update for Tuesday, December 15, 2020. Thank you so much for watching. It, it makes my heart warm to think that you got here to this part in the video. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for watching and sticking around. Please leave a comment with your go-to item at the convenience store or the vending machine. Mine are those licorice bites, those little you put them in your mouth and, you know, you get to prolong the licorice flavor in your mouth. It's just so good. And you just, just let it melt in your mouth or chew it once in a while. You get to choose one or the other. That's just me. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care. Stay safe out there. I love you.